first price the first price that is responsible for accessing higher realms and dimensions in life and in destiny is the price of a deeper experience with God the price of a deeper experience with God take me deeper you know that song deeper in love with you Jesus hold me close to your embrace take me deeper deeper than I've ever been before I just want to love you more and more how I long to be deeper can I tell you those who will keep making news for the kingdom are those who understand that it is the deeper and the richer your walk with God the more the sound of your exploits in the spirit are we together physically speaking the heavier an object the more it will make noise when you throw it on the ground is that true when you carry a strand of hair or a feather and you throw it it will take so long to arrive the ground and you will almost not know that there is anything there news is a product of deep relationship with the spirit you want god to announce you to your world it is not just looking for opportunities you have to have a deeper walk with god a deeper walk with god second kings chapter 9 and verse 30 very popular and powerful scripture second kings 1930 i meant to say the bible says the remnant 1930 1930 second kings 1930 the remnant that is escaped of the house of judah it says the first thing they shall do is to take root or bear root downwards and then they will bear fruit upwards are we together that those that have escaped and are preserved if they are to gain stature they will bear root downwards for you to understand this you have to understand agriculture please look up there are grasses and little shrubs that last for days weeks and at best a few months you can pull them up because their roots are not deep sometimes their roots are even visible is that true you can see them and because their roots are not deep you don't expect that they become giant trees if you plant your maize the ridge that you make for maize sometimes it may not even be anything serious just enough to cover it is that true and then it grows because after three months you are going to cut everything away but there are trees giant oak trees and many trees that we have in africa and around the world some of those trees are 30 years old 60 years old hundreds of years old and you find out that the root of those trees without exaggeration sometimes it can be so deep deep enough to be the size of a house and it sinks right to the ground are we together whether there is rain or no rain it doesn't wait for any season it has gone deep enough to touch where there is constant supply the Bible says he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water are we together now hmm. whose leaves does not wither and the reason is because it does not have to wait for seasons to change to flourish it has found its way to get a constant supply of water hallelujah so the deeper your root spiritually in terms of your fellowship with God in terms of your prayer life in terms of your love for God your honor and your spiritual understanding your the, the, generally your love and your passion and your fire for God there is a guarantee from that experience that you will not plateau show me a man whose passion for God never goes down I show you a man whose relevance will remain show me a preacher show me a businessman show me a politician show me a career person who has that degree of respect for God I show you a man that no matter what storms come he will remain and he will increase 
somebody say more and more one more time prophesy say more and more hallelujah are we learning in second chronicles chapter 15 second chronicles chapter 15 we'll read from verse 10 please give it to us media let's walk together second chron second chronicles 15 from verse 10 it says so they gathered themselves together at jerusalem reading to 15 in the third month and in the 15th year of the reign of asa uh -huh, and they offered unto the lord the same time of the spoil which they had brought 700 oxen and 7,000 sheep 12 and they entered into a covenant what was the covenant to seek the lord the God of their fathers with all their heart and with all their soul. Next verse. That whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel, he should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. Two more verses, 14. And they swear unto the Lord with a loud voice and with shouting and with trumpets and with cornets. The last verse. It says, and all Judah rejoiced at the oath, for they had sworn with all their heart and sought him with their whole desire and he was found of them and the lord gave them rest round about what was the secret they said the issue of seeking god we bind it as a covenant we are not going to depend on our emotions the day i feel good the day it works well for me no i will seek the lord no matter what happens second chronicles 26 and verse 5 speaking about uzziah the secret to his prosperity and exploit the bible says and he sought god in the days of zechariah who had understanding in the visions of god and as long as uzziah sought the lord god made him to prosper the word prosper there has nothing to do with money it means to excel it means to advance it means to continue for as long as he sought the lord the Lord made him to prosper. May you never get to any point in your life where you feel you have sought God enough. May you never get to a point in your life where you feel your prayer life is enough. May you never get to any point in your life where you feel your commitment and your passion for God is enough. Are we together? The only place you are permitted to say enough is in acquisitions of material things and then just the earthly study of things instead of reading many books there is no end and much study is a weariness to the soul he says this is the conclusion of the matter fear god and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man but as far as seeking god is concerned even in heaven our pursuit still continues is someone learning exodus chapter 33 and verse 14 we're discussing the first price the price of Deep, a deeper experience with God this is Moses they are about to leave are we together sojourning through the wilderness and he said my presence shall go with thee and I will give you rest speaking to Moses now verse 15 and he said Moses is replying now if your presence does not go with us do not take us away from here our journey is useless if we do not have the backing of your presence this is a word for someone before you start taking steps verify whether God is with you if money is the only thing that is with you you are still in trouble money can be with you minus God you are only getting into trouble because even the door that will lead you to trouble must be open to so not every open door is God's door Satan also opens doors the prison has doors and just because the prison door is open it can be open for you to enter inside nobody enters into the prison with a closed door the door will first have to be open among the many things you have to verify on your way every once in a while take a break and check what do i have around my life i have results what do i have around my life anointing what do i have around my life fame what do i have around my life more money than i had last year if God is not at the top of everything around you, stop there and make sure you secure his presence before the journey continues. Is someone learning now? Failure to do that will only cause you casualties. This is the mistake of great people. They begin with God. 
but then they get to a point in their christian experience where they feel listen do i really need god i've become a celebrity i am famous remember the teaching tonight is not for those who are starting the teaching tonight is the secret for remaining and increasing you know what it takes to start to start the church to start the ministry to start the business be careful when you begin to have results because among the many things that will look too heavy for you to carry may be god and so you can throw god aside so that the luggage will be easier to continue the journey i rather stay in one place with god than to move with other things and without him moses was wise remember when they left egypt i hope you know they did not live empty they left with gold remember they left with a lot of things moses would have said we have gold if enemies come to capture us we'll just negotiate with them and say okay we are not empty we have gold but he said if your presence will not go with us do not take us away from here let's finish that scripture 16. it says for wherein shall it be known here that i and thy people have found grace in your sight is it not in that thou goest with us so shall we be separated or distinguished i and thy people from the people that are upon the face of the earth there is a mark that comes upon a destiny that values divine presence you carry divine presence in ministry the difference will be clear and unmistakable you carry divine presence in business you carry it in raising your children you carry it in exploring your destiny adventure some of you have thrown god so that you have space to collect money some of you threw God as a necessary, you threw him away, you are too much of a luggage. I notice that every time I hold you, when people try to offer me money, I can't collect it. Some of you have thrown God so that you will preserve your pride. The price for new dimensions, number one, is a deeper experience with God. Take your place, take your place. Take your place, take your place. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Hallelujah never let the pursuit of god become an embarrassment because of where you have arrived can i kneel down again will it be will it not be an inconvenience can i lift my hands in worship again with all my subordinates here i now run a conglomerate with offices in uk with offices in 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 russia with offices in america and all of my subordinates are there now i'm a great man of god i have a lot of sons can i be embarrassed to roll on the floor before god never get to a point where your love for god becomes a thing of shame you are already in trouble hallelujah never let your clothes be too expensive that it cannot touch the ground uh -uh. <laughs> when the ark of god was being returned back to jerusalem david who was king at that time he danced in a way that looked like he was a madman the bible described this as an undignified dance and his wife who was saul's daughter looked at him in shame and said oh dear what a foolish and stupid king look at how you brought reproach to yourself before your contemporaries and he said let me tell you something you i know you are my wife but i need to educate you i am not dancing before this man i am dancing before god who collected the kingdom from your father and gave it to me david acknowledged that that realm he was given he was who would have known do you know there is nowhere david was not like joseph who had a dream that one day he will become king the bible never records at least joseph had a consolation he was dreaming david never knew 
if you ask david in the wilderness david who will you become he will say i'll become a warrior not knowing that that victory was only a starting point someone is already celebrating success too much you are already celebrate over celebrating a little realm whereas god's call and destiny for you is that he will make you captain over his inheritance is someone learning hmm. the god you found in the wilderness must be the god you honor in the palace if the god you found in the wilderness was powerful enough to bring you in the palace you would be foolish to throw him away for dagon when david came and met saul and proposed to fight goliath saul said okay i am a king i have the best of armory take all my armory and he said king i respect you but i have my weapons that i was trained with i'm not here to come and it's not just military might i have a covenant by reason of my seeking god let me tell you the truth in this end time god will raise unassuming unusual people people who when you add them up they don't equal to the result that should be but because of their determination to seek and walk with god god will carry some things as gifts god will carry the prayer requests of nations and institutions and give individuals as a testament for seeking them you believe what i'm telling you you've not seen prosperity yet until you see people who are unassuming who will be custodians of the wealth of the kingdom that god will give it to them by himself if you interview them in terms of business intelligence the truth is that you will be disappointed they don't add up yet you cannot deny the result because they sought the lord there are many many kinds of graces and anointings that have not yet been released but are coming i tell you you will see men rise who are like gods upon the earth power and dimensions miracles and the manifestations of the spirit the deaf ears and the blindness you are talking about it will be common occurrence you will not have to put a crusade for that to happen that people will be walking on the street and they will pass a mortuary and dead bodies will come back to life without the people even knowing that they were used by god to heal the sick this is what god wants to do but there is a price the price of a deeper walk with god father you have blessed me now i have a mansion now i have cars now i have influence but i count them but dung the way i rolled 10 years ago i will see roll in your presence my clothes may have changed but my allegiance will never change my clothes may have changed but my worship will not change my car may have changed my pedigree may have changed but you still remain my god someone pray in one minute lord i repent for trying to replace you with many things on my way to greatness please pray for someone this is why you came to church you are my god as a shepherd and as a king you are my god as an employee and as an entrepreneur you are my god you are my god no matter where i go to no matter where i become You see let me tell you something please listen listen and learn we still have a lot to look at do you know when god begins to lift you and put you in a position of influence 
now you are in an elevated position where people watch you and the first thing they want to watch is who you honor and what you love you can influence a generation with one encounter to reject christ because you have mismanaged influence there are many people today who vowed all kinds of vows to god lord if you lift me i will stand for you but now when you begin to fly around the world you come into a realm of priority living where your name has become a key to many lives chances are excellent that god now becomes a luggage and an inconvenience for you many have lost their touch with god many have maintained a level at, at a level that god lifts you and you are still doing two verses per day honestly you are not a serious christian maybe for a start as a believer mm. the fast of 10 years ago must be restored back the prayer of 10 years ago must be restored back the sitting outside of 10 years ago where you say lord it is in the dead of the night but i'm still awake with you here to worship you i live to worship you i live i live to worship you to worship you i live to worship you i live i live to worship you hallelujah you have heard me say this everything God gives you is not all he wants to give you at any point in your life whatever you receive from God just know that it is part of the full package no matter how great it is God gave me one billion ah that is all and God is saying so I the goal is for hundred billion and billions of dollars to fund the kingdom and just because you had one billion in your mind it has carried you away God gave me a, this God now made me an estate uh, whatever it is ah. I cast my crown before the highest royalty I am undone before your glorious majesty. I cast my crown before the highest royalty, and I am undone before you're the King of Kings and Lord. Of Lord, you are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of hosts. Your glorious Majesty. Can I tell you, you must get to a point in your life where it is not just your knowledge that mentors people, even your worship, your allegiance to the King of Kings will make someone to say, listen, ordinary I would have laughed at this person, but I saw him 10 years ago, the same rolling, I laughed at the rolling, but look where the rolling has brought him today. And I will join and also roll. If that rolling has brought him to this level, don't waste your influence. Use it to mentor nations. Don't waste your influence. The first prize for new dimensions, a deeper walk with God. Please sit down. 